In this video, we will walk through on how to deploy a one-arm service graph when F5 is integrated with APIC. We first log into the APIC and view the logical device cluster that is going to be used for this demo. We see that the logical device cluster is in stable state. We log into the big IP and view the IP address of the big IP as well as the device group. Going back to the APIC, we see the networking, the bridge domains that are going to be used for this exercise. We are going to use three different bridge domains, one for F5, one for consumer, and one for provider. We also have three endpoint groups defined, one for F5, one for external, and one for internal. Next, we are going to see the function profile that is going to be used to deploy the graph. We see under local traffic, we have the monitor as well as the pool information. For a one arm, we do not need to define external IP. We only need to define an internal self IP, which belongs to the F5 bridge domain. Also, we define the listener, which also belongs to the F5 bridge domain network. We go ahead and we create a service graph template. The type in this case would be one node, one arm. We select the device function and we select the profile, which in our case would be the function profile that we just went through. Now we will apply the service graph template that we just created. We provide the consumer EPG, the provider EPG, and we define the name of a contract. Here we choose the logical device cluster to be used as well as the bridge domain for F5. This is the step that differs from a two-arm graph. Then we go to the parameters. And if we need, we can update parameters from the function profile. All the other remaining parameters are present due to the function profile. click on finish, we will see that the configuration has been pushed to the big IP. We see a partition has been created, nodes have been added, pool has been added, and a virtual server has been added. Now since this is a one node graph, we need to specify a default route on the big IP for it to communicate with the client and the server since they all three are on different subnets. To edit parameters on LTM, once a graph has already been deployed, go to the application profile, the provider EPG, and click on L4, L7 service parameters. Click on the edit button, choose a contract graph and node name, click on all parameters, and this is where you can edit. In our case, we want to add a default drop. We add the default route and click on Submit. We see that this default route has been added to the big IP. We also see the big IP has the self IP address, just one internal, and we see the VLAN. The VLAN in this case is 435. If we log into the APIC, we will see that the same VLAN has been assigned by APIC to internal as well as the external interface. We next log into the vCenter to see the server settings. 
It belongs to the internal pod group on tenant standalone. We need to specify the default route on the server as well since it belongs to a different subnet and we need to tell the server how to reach the big IP. We also need to provide a default route on the client and assign it to the correct port group, in this case standalone external. We see the route on the client and we try to make a ping to the default gateway and then we make a HTTP request. We can see that the request is being load balanced and we are receiving a response from both server 1 as well as server 2. This concludes the deployment of a one-arm graph. Thank you.